Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Good Friday and I have your word for the day. Good Friday is a day that's recognized by Christianity uh, as the day that Jesus was beaten, whipped, and nailed to a cross for our sins. If you've never watched the movie called The Passion of the Christ, man, I want to encourage you to check it out. Not for entertainment purposes, but to, to help you and I in today's world understand the price that Jesus paid to set us free from the penalty of our sins. Did you know that there's a practice in several countries throughout the world that on Good Friday, people sign up to be crucified? For example, in the Philippines, there's a man named Ruben Anaje. He is scheduled to be crucified this year. And if I'm not mistaken, somebody has volunteered annually every year since 1962. Every year during Holy Week, hundreds of Filipinos across the Philippines will beat themselves in order to pay the penalty for their sins. Uh, they'll publicly beat themselves, flog themselves, they'll cut themselves, torture themselves because they believe God's punishment for sin has not yet been fully paid. They believe they've got to do some type of harm to pay the price for their own sin. Can I just tell you, that is not what God wants them to do. Sometimes people have a difficult time accepting grace. They have a hard time believing that they no longer have to be punished for their sins. They have a hard time believing that Jesus really paid for their sin on the cross. Do you know people like that? They think that bad things happen to them because God is punishing them. Or maybe they punish themselves to try to get right with God. I can definitively say God poured out his anger over sin on Jesus at the cross 2,000 years ago. And his grace and his mercy to you and I are undeserved. It is a mystery, but it is completely free. This Easter, if you know somebody that doesn't fully understand God's grace, would you invite them to one of our Easter worship services? Maybe invite them to watch church with you online. We will have services Saturday afternoon at 3.30, and Sunday at 9.30 and 11 with a classic service at our McCulloch campus at 8 o'clock. Let me encourage you, invite somebody to Easter with you that needs to experience hope, that needs to experience grace. Pray for them and ask God to transform their lives through His grace as well. You have a great Easter weekend. God bless.